Cowabunga is going to be headed this way here in just a moment. I think uh, the uh, uh, teenage mutant ninja turtle craze has uh, spread worldwide here in the last few months. And uh, right over into the wrestling ring. Indeed. Cowabunga is in here. And, you know, uh, Ken Wayne uh, coming this way, the uh, U.S. Junior Heavyweight Champion. This is a non-title match. Ken steps up on the ring apron, through the ropes, and into the ring. Uh, referee Jerry Calhoun is uh, in the ring. Ken and Wayne's a fine wrestler in his own right, but Kawabunga has really surprised me. You know, when it first started, I didn't know that he was going to be this good of a wrestler, but my goodness, he's really good in the ring. You know, I, th I think that's an excellent point, and I think uh, probably most of us felt that way. We thought, okay, hey, here's a guy in a turtle outfit, but uh, probably can't wrestle. But, boy, has he proven that uh, as advertised at the beginning, uh, we had heard that he was uh, an expert in the martial arts. He is. He's into karate and all of that, and he can really move in the ring. And he's greeting the fans right now, turns toward the ring, up on the apron, through the ropes, and we are just about set to go with a one-fall, ten-minute time limit match. Cowabunga against Ken Wayne, and here we go. This should be quite a match, David. I'll tell you, Kawabunga, he may look green on TV, but when it comes to his wrestling skills, this young man, whoever's under that hood, who's ever in that costume, can really wrestle. Handshake. Mutual respect there between Ken Wayne, the U.S. Junior Heavyweight Champion, and Kawabunga. Kawabunga drops into one of those, what is that, judo or karate? I'm, I must admit I'm not skilled enough uh, to, to be able to tell which that is. I don't think it matters, maybe. I think the fact that he is skilled in, uh, in that uh, is uh, what's the important part. Uh, Ken Wayne trying to come in at him, but uh, there's some of the quickness right there. See him move back. Is very, very quick in the ring. And a little bit later on on the wrestling program today, Dave, I understand Kawabunga is going to give us a special karate demonstration. And I'm looking forward to seeing that because from what I've seen in the ring, it looks like the man is well mastered in the martial arts. Should be interesting. Following the match, we'll try to get him over here for uh, that demonstration. Nightmare Ken Wayne. Not too anxious to get too close to Cowabunga. Oh, nice move by that Wayne. was a very good move by Ken Wayne. Excellent move. Ken's a good wrestler in his own right. Of course, he wouldn't be the U.S. Uh, WA's World Junior Heavyweight Champion, would he not be? And these two, you got two of the best wrestlers as the sport goes right here in the ring right now here today on television. Good move by Cowabunga there. Wayne had a, had a good move, and Cowabunga proves that uh, he can move in there, too, and put his opponent on the mat. Ken Wayne looks to me like he was using a fist, Michael. I think he may have. He looked like he was going to throw that forearm, but at the last minute he changed his mind, I believe. Small package by Cowabunga. Look at him rolling around the ring. Can either of them hold the shoulders of the other down for a count of three? Ken Wayne shoulders down three. He got it. He got it. Nice move by Cowabunga. That was one of those situations where either wrestler, if he could have gained the momentary advantage for a three count, would be the winner of the match. And Cowabunga got the three count on Ken Wayne. I think Cowabunga just ended up hooking that other leg, and that kept Ken from the mobility of rolling in the ring, and he just wrapped Look at that. I like to see that. I like to see that, too. There's a handshake after the match. Cowabunga comes up with a victory. The time on it, two minutes. Two minutes even as Cowabunga gets the victory. And I, I don't know exactly what uh, he has in mind. <laughs> Three. He is over here. Awesome. Oh, nice. Let me uh, let me get some of this uh, here. I don't I don't know what you have in mind, but hey, I understand hey, you got hey, a little hey, bit. Man. Hey, man. I know this is your interview time. I want to tell everybody, not only you, but all the people. A few weeks ago, I come out here. And I thought you were just another goof dressed up in a turtle suit. Well, you know, I didn't think too much about you. But I've seen you wrestle and I've wrestled you. I'm going to be the first one to stick my hand out and say, Brother, you're real good. All right. Ah, oh, dude. Oh, totally radical. Awesome. Wrestling Ken Wayne, dude. All right. Nightmare. Uh, that's racing boards, dude. Okay, congratulations on the victory there. Racing you really board. excited the fans. Now, I don't know. we got a couple of... Uh, what is that? Gallon cans of paint here. And, uh, all right. All right. Oh, I see. Uh, and now some boards here. Oh, <laughs> dude. I tell you what, you smacked that with that uh, side of that hand and it popped. All right, here's one right here. All right, let's, let's watch what happens here. Cowabunga. Ooh. Uh, 
will break another one. Hand went right through that board, Dave. All right. Hey, wait a minute now. Jeff Gaylord and Scott Braddock, the wild things in downtown Bruno. Look, we're out here with a demonstration. You guys Let me keep tell you something. Get up, you idiot. Hey, who are you trying to impress? Hold up, dude. These little boards, they can't fight back. Let me tell you something. If you want to impress somebody, this is impressive. impressive and as a matter of fact when you get in the ring with me brother I'm gonna hit you with so many lefts you're gonna be begging for a right I want to show you something hey Scott help me out hold him hey, oh, hey come on whoa, whoa. Bruno for heaven's sake who's this guy trying to impress out here oh. what, coming out here three against one you over here and, and oh, Kaylord and Scott Braddock Breaking boards over Cowabunga's head and Bruno over with a boot kicking on him. Can we get him some help out here, please? Goodness, I tell you what. Here comes Ken Wayne out to help. Ken Wayne with a uh, wooden stool there. You better get some help over here, Dave. Ken, thank you for coming out and, uh, and helping out. Now, let's watch him. Let's get those guys out of here. Jeff Gaylord, oh boy, the wild things. Gaylord, Braddock, and downtown Bruno. All right, yeah, let's help him out of here. We'll take a break, we'll return.